All right, we'll give it a second here. See if anyone else jumps back on. Okay, okay. Um, whoever's watching, can you hear me? I know my audio wasn't working here a few minutes ago. I'm um, just curious. Hey, good morning, Daniel. All right, Bruce, you can hear me now? Rock and roll. All right. Well, I was having some technical difficulties here because, you know, that's the way it goes on a Saturday, I guess. Morning, Bruce. Morning, Daniel. All right, so I'm going to start over because apparently I, my mouth was just moving before and you guys couldn't hear me. So uh, my, my V8 hasn't kicked in. I've got my V8 for uh, at 8 here today. It hasn't, it hasn't started, so apparently I don't know how to turn on a microphone. Uh, you'll have to forgive me. Morning, Terry. Morning, Chad. Morning, Beth. All right, so uh, morning, Nancy. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Bab. Good morning, Char. All right, so we're in Luke chapter 9 this morning. Uh, good morning, Jennifer. And I'm going to be starting in verse 57. So this is Luke chapter 9, verse 57. It says this, As they were walking along the road, a man said to him, him being Jesus, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus replied, Foxes have dens and birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. He said to another man, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Still another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family. Jesus replied, no one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. Good morning, Roseanne. Good morning, Peggy. So this morning, I want to talk for just a minute about excuses, right? In this narrative that we just read in Luke, you have three encounters between people and Jesus. Now, in this first one, you have somebody come to Jesus and say, Jesus, I want to follow you. And Jesus is like, hey, Right, I don't think you get what this is going to take. And then the guy doesn't actually end up following Jesus. The other, the next one, you see Jesus calls somebody to follow him. But the guy's like, uh, yeah, hey, but first, uh, I, need to, I need to take care of some stuff. And now, lest you think that Jesus is just being totally heartless, like, oh, dude, this guy is like grieving his dead father. Like, that's kind of a jerk move, Jesus. What's up with that? Some scholars would say that this guy's dad probably wasn't even dead yet. So he's saying, hey, eventually my dad is going to die. I'm going to wait until that has happened. Maybe this is because he's going to get some sort of inheritance. And then he thinks, well, hey, well, then I will be able to follow you, Jesus. And the next guy's like, hey, I just want to go and say goodbye to my family. You know, but in all of these situations, you, you have people, for whatever reason, they, they express interest or Jesus calls them to follow him. And they have, they have some reason why they can't do that. And they're like, well, hey, but first, but first, let me, let me, right? And my question to each of us this morning is how many times do we do that? Jesus calls us to do something. And, and we have some reason, some excuse as to why we don't do that, right? Jesus says, hey, I want you to, I want you to go and bless. Yeah, but Lord, I did, mm -hmm. that wasn't really in the budget this month. And he just says, hey, I want you to go have a conversation with that person. Eh, Lord, me and that person, we don't really get along very well. Right? And we make excuses. We make excuses for not engaging in relationship the way that Jesus asks us to engage in relationship. We make excuses for the way we, we use our various resources, whether that's our time or our talent. Maybe you've been blessed with a gift and you could use, good morning, Nadila. Um, maybe you could use that to bless other people. But you're like, nah, I don't really, I don't really like to do that you know, in public, or I don't, you know, that's just more for me kind of thing. Well, no, none of the things that we were given are just for us, right? Everything that we have is so that we can bless other people. But we're really good, myself included, at making excuses. So my challenge is to be open to Holy Spirit and ask Him today. Say, Holy Spirit, are there areas in my life that you are calling me to follow Jesus, to live like Jesus, and I'm making excuses? And then as he reveals those things to us, say, okay, hey, <laughs> I'm going to stop making excuses. I'm going to lose the excuses. And then the next time, Jesus calls you, good morning, Sandy. Uh, and uh, it is a halo, a little, little triangle halo. There we go. Um, the, next time, the next time he calls you to do something, actually follow him. Right? Jesus, in this narrative, he's saying, guys, you, you all, you're all really excited 
to follow me, but I don't think you understand the cost. Right? Maybe for this guy that says, hey, I want to I wanna just go say goodbye to my family. Well, a, a couple of chapters later in Luke 14, Jesus is speaking and he's, and he's exaggerating to get his point across. But he says, man, if you want to follow me, you have to, you have to hate your family. Right? And which he doesn't actually want you to hate your family. But he's saying nothing can be a higher priority than following Jesus. And that is hard. That is hard. And he's trying to get people to say, hey, if, if you want to follow me, understand the cost. But then, then step up to the line. Don't make excuses and follow. So that's my challenge. Ask Holy Spirit to reveal to you if there are anything in, if there's anything in your life that where you're making an excuse to not follow Jesus, to not live like he's calling you to. And then step up and whatever Jesus is calling you to do, obey. Let's pray this morning. Father God, Lord, it is not an easy thing to follow you sometimes. Lord, but we know that we can do it through the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, I just ask for each one of us that we would set aside our preferences, that we would set aside our excuses, that we would set aside our but firsts, Lord, and that we would just, we would follow you, Lord, that we would, we would see where your footsteps go and we would take one step at a time in that direction. Father God, Lord, it's our desire that each day that we would be more and more like you. Lord, I pray that today, everyone hearing the sound of my voice would be a little bit more like you than they were yesterday. And tomorrow, that they'll be a little bit more like you than they were today. Lord, just through the power of your Holy Spirit, work in each one of our lives. We pray this in your name. Amen. Well, hey, good morning, Galvins. Uh, hey, I hope you guys have a great Saturday. Uh, when I was up, I'm in downstairs in my basement office right now. But when I was upstairs, it looked uh, it looked pretty nice. So hopefully you guys all have some, some good weekend plans uh, lined up, or maybe you're just going to chill and take a Saturday off. But uh, thanks for jumping on here. I have that just after a Rocky movie feeling. Is that good or bad, Bruce? <laughs> I had, okay, but I've never watched any of the Rocky movies. So hopefully we can still be friends, Bruce. But I don't, is, so is that Rocky thing, is that good or bad? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he beat the snot out of people, right? That was Rocky. He was all like, I'm a boxer. So, but no, hopefully, maybe Bruce's weekend plans involve watching a Rocky movie. Um, but uh, yeah, whatever you got going on today, I hope that it's blessed that you're able to take some time to relax and uh, enjoy the sunshine. I'm probably going to be out working in the air. Okay, it's good. All right. All right. Well, so then maybe I'll have to, I'll have to watch some Rocky movies there, Bruce. But uh, hey, thanks for jumping on here, guys. Looking forward to seeing you all via our service tomorrow, uh, whether it be here on Facebook, YouTube, or on our, on our website. Uh, thanks for jumping on. Uh, you guys are awesome, and we will talk to you guys later.